experience, for sure. It was a big stage. Uh, it was actually bigger than I expected. Yeah. Uh, okay. But uh, the crew and everyone around seems very professional, so uh, I'm looking forward to the second production. Yeah. So, where do you feel comfortable Yeah. Yeah. Mostly, most of the time. There's always like a few fixes and changes, of course, but uh, my overall feeling is yeah, it's good. Did you already listen to this music crowd and the audience and tell something? Close my eyes. No, uh, not really, but I actually saw there were some mannequins in the audience, right? Oh, okay. So I saw them in the room, and then I can see them in the dance band. Okay, I want to talk to you about dance songs, so how much have you been to write? How, how long it took? Yeah. Uh, I, it was a quite a long experience. We, we started, uh, we wrote it in Estonia with uh, former Eurovision contestants, contestant, uh, Stig Resta, one of the writers. You may know him and see some cheering. Uh, so we started it maybe eight, nine months ago. And as always, not as always, but sometimes we get stuck and we didn't really find the chorus. Uh, so we, we worked with it back and forth. I worked with it back in Sweden, in Estonia. But so overall, I think it took like maybe two or three months to get it, like what it is today. So there's like uh, one thing that was stuck and just trying to be yeah, I guess I guess you never know. Nothing's perfect. But you never feel like yeah. oh, this is perfect. This always like okay. So I think even though the sending to the Eurovision in uh, Estonia is called Estival, we were sitting like the last minutes trying to make changes. And okay, this is it. This is it. Really? It's always yeah. It's all you're always thinking you change things. Yeah, it's yeah. like an ongoing process. Endless. Yeah. And uh, what is it about? Up to the listener, as I always say, but uh, I guess for me it's about getting through a hard time in life. Like, uh, whatever happens, uh, you will get through it. The storm in this case, like, even though you're having a really hard time, yeah, like, hang in there, it's going to be better. So. Can you maybe share with us a time you like when you make a storm? The life storm? The kind of sad storm? Or the happy storm. I have a lot of happy storms. Oh, so, so being here is a good storm. Let's yeah. do the happy storm. Yes, it's a happy storm. Very nice. No, so can you start with us? Like, uh, start with your life. Right? So, like, what is the inspiration for this song? Well, as I said, I think like uh, we're the human, right? And I think we all go through things in our life that are hard at some point. And, well, I think, yeah, me and everyone. Good to, uh, I think this is a reminder to uh, yeah. keep in there, stay strong, never give up. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so, uh, yeah. And if you think, like, when you're having a hard time in your life, you. I listen to myself. Yeah, you try to. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play my own song. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right, it will be over. So, I mean, you, you always remind yourself that you better, like, you're an optimistic person, I think. Well, uh, it differs. Sometimes I'm not, but, uh, like, in those situations when you are. Uh, those places, I think it's well. Hopefully, this song can help someone. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a better, because you know, it always is. Yeah. Okay. We have questions for yes. Like wondering why we write this with this. And uh, well, 
it's not that we need to know about it, but it's that we decide that like, it's, it's good to be like this. It's like this, and to be like this. So, like, I'm really, I'm really proud of the song. Uh, you can't please everyone. If I please one, I'm going to tell me how much it is. Hello, Team Estonia, JP from Great International and Gans on the Final Malta. Um, the song is Storm, and last year also we had the song Storm by the UK entry, uh, Sui, exactly. Now, how would you react if somebody comes and snatches the microphone? I don't, I, I don't know. I actually had a whole thing today when we were I'm, I'm taking the guitar back and forth, but we were, you know, that's a different story. Uh, well, what would I do? I would probably try to run after you. Like, just because, like, hey, that's mine, uh, Or just continue singing with the... Uh, with... <laughs> Something like that. So, uh, you have any tips? Want to you talk to Suri? Sorry? Uh, fight for him, yeah. French? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Only French, yeah. Now, you're a speech, right? How are you doing this in language? Well, you have to tell me, I guess. Pretty cool already. Because I would tell you that you're learning new words every day. Yeah, uh, well, I have to be honest, I did. Like, you're, you're now in the Eurovision, I started, uh, I haven't, uh, it's been some days that I haven't learned a new word. But uh, it's, a, it's a cool language, it's uh, yeah. pretty hard. You, you know what I mean? No. What was the last word that you learned? Oh, that's a long one. Yeah. You can say just you want. I, I yeah. didn't know if you're. What are they having? So that's yeah. So that's. So that's. So that's. What is it? So that's big text. Big text. Big text. Yes. So that's. And you also you also have many hobbies, right? You do so many things. Yeah. Well, so what do you like to do? Uh, um, the sports. I've been a former. Played a lot of hockey. Uh, ice hockey and uh, tennis, football, and I love them. Well, mostly nowadays the sea. Uh, I'm going to go back to sleep. Uh, sounds very weird. <laughs> I have a whole back in Sweden. If you want to grow up on the sea and uh, take some fish. So but, the sailing. Well, during the summers, yeah. yeah. Uh, not the whole summers, but uh, I really enjoy it. That's a thing for me to do back. Are you planning to try maybe here? Yeah, sure. Why not? I, I, I know there's some good ways. So maybe I haven't tried, but maybe some surf. Can you do that again? I cannot. Sorry. No, I cannot. No, I'm afraid to deep in water, to deep sea, because there are monsters and we don't, we cannot see them. Oh. So how do they know if they want to bite me? You know? So, so logical. Yeah. yeah. So no, I don't. Sir. Okay, then I stay away from these monsters. But you, for sure, you have to do. Okay. And I read somewhere that you meditate. Yes, I do. What kind of meditation? Well, mainly just trying to be silent, maybe just sit. And you like That's to it. concentrate and like some kind of mindfulness? Yeah, you know, well, it, mainly it's just about being silent, like yeah. keep away all the thoughts and uh, yeah, just uh, just be. Are you succeeding in really like hearing your thoughts and then just keeping your head? Well, yeah, I think for those that haven't tried it, uh, well, I can always speak for myself, yeah. but it's really been, uh, it's been uh, a good thing for me in my life to sometimes just, especially now, well, you have a dream, you have a vision, like to, okay, take it easy. And they feel okay, it doesn't help you, like if you're stressed, you know, all these, these crazy days, I mean, yes, so you do that every day? Every day, twice a day, yes. Twice a day? Yes. How long is that? Four hours and twenty minutes. <laughs> no, it's like 15 20 minutes. It's a lot. Or, uh, it's sometimes an hour, but right? depending on how much you want. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's two. You do? You know, say it's 15 minutes. Okay, you do not compete in that stuff. No. It's, it's not so no. No, I had an idea. I, I won't do it, but I thought that it could be like the most unique uh, conference, uh, uh, Europe's conference ever. I know where you're going. If we all like take. 
I don't know where the heart from, came from actually. Uh, you were the selected guy. Yeah. I don't know. So you tried this, this name Victor uh, Vic Hart for one single and then decided oh, maybe it's not. Yeah, but it maybe too much. Well, of course, obviously now it's uh, making it to the finals. Mm -hmm. Obviously, that's my yeah, that's the dream right now. Yeah. There. Yeah. And can you just like share with us what what is your biggest achievement prior to this Eurovision contest that you were now? Well, I'm just saying to be here right now, but it's uh, awesome. Yeah. If we talk like in this yeah. genre, uh, specific thing of life. Like, Music was this is the coolest thing I've ever done. Yeah? Yeah. Great. And then you were here for shooting the poster. Yeah. How was it for you? Uh, it was an experience as well, because this year it's uh, the dancing thing, right? The what? Dancing. Dancing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, well, I'm not the smoothest guy around, right? so. You're uh, not? No, so I had some struggle with the, the movements and such, but uh, well, I haven't seen it, so hopefully it's. Uh, they, uh, they arrange it so it looks good, otherwise. So they forced me to dance with you with... Well, they didn't force me, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. It's not, so I guess you Yeah, but I hope it's like, you know, really. Uh-huh. But uh, it was, uh, yeah. I, I love it being here as well, but we want to... Actually, me and Tommy, we don't have to speak, we don't get to speak anything, but it's okay. We were here, we were in Jaffa, and had some good dinners, and the beach. Do you have any music that I don't I have many, I guess. I've been listening to a lot of it. I got a Danish flag from someone. I've been listening a lot to Danish music lately, like yeah. Scarlet Danish, yeah. Scarlet Pleasure and Flake. Where's the Danish? Yeah. She left the baby. Yeah, anyways, yeah, those are influences right now. Maybe now you need some, maybe get some Israeli artists there. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so great. So good to have you here, guys. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. And how do you say this again? Soreta. 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 Thank you very much. Soreta.